Thank you. There was a lot that went into this fight. Of course, the rematch, last fight on your contract. Were you feeling nervous, uh, nervousness at all going into it? No, I was just going out there having fun and just enjoying life. I have my family outside and I, get both my I pretty much have my kids, my wife, my brother. I'm good to go. Are you happy with your performance? Of course. I went out there striking and moving. I made him miss a lot of shots. And the only thing I was very <coughs> disappointed in is I didn't throw enough head kicks. Dang, I wish I would have got my little legs up there. Why? Well, because, you know, I wanted to show I got some kicks. Okay. Everybody's seen the hands. Let's see some footwork. You get kicked below the belt a lot. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I have no idea. I'm tiny. I'm close to the ground. My balls are close to the ground. <laughs> like, you figure they'd be kicking me in the body or in the head. And they keep on kicking my nuts. Yeah. Oh. I'm like so sore, I've been walking around like trying to come up and do all the media stuff and I was like oh. They're like, John, well, you gotta go pee. It's like, nah, man, they're just sore. I got kicked in the nuts and then, you know, the funny thing is, third round I got up cut it in the nuts and I was like, you know what? Just fuck it, just go. Let's just keep on going. Don't even worry about it. No point deduction, I don't care. This fight's almost over. Oh, I need my balls. I feel like I need, need one more child and I think he's gonna stop that right now. <laughs> what are the chances that this is your last fight in the UFC? Nah, it's not gonna be enough. That's highly unlikely because one, what are the UFC going to do with my, my bubbly personality and my beautiful smile, bring it into the octagon? Did, did they try to, like, I mean, did you have any talks after what happened in Brazil? Did you reignite those talks or did you want to fight this out and then... I always want to fight this out and see what happens next. Mm -hmm. Let's go on, like, pretty much if the UFC cuts me, whatever. If the UFC brings me back, hell yeah! I'm going to go knock out anybody that's going to be in my way, it doesn't matter what the, within the UFC or not. Or that they're still put on an awesome performance, and hopefully my nuts don't get kicked the next fight. <laughs> Ruben and the broadcast team kept bringing up the the right hand and the lack of use, and I think he asked you in your post fight, what what was the deal with that? Was there there was there any reason you weren't using it, or I believe they were thinking that it was injured, and that the, even the, your opponent was talking about it in the corner in between. What that I didn't use my right hand? I thought I would try. It. I I honestly like I have no idea that I didn't use it that much. If that's the case, I'll keep on firing it. I, I thought I was using it as pretty much as a guiding tool. I knew that he was going to try to hit me with that lead hook, so the best way to stop a lead hook is go into it and throw a left. His right hand wasn't pretty much obsolete, so if that's the case, his right hand sucked. And the wheels were definitely there. Your, your mobility was, again, on point. I think a lot of people you know, just think of your speed as definitely your, your key quality. What was the game plan coming in for him? Speed. Move around, hit him, keep on touching him, and then every time I throw a punch, just make sure it lands. How was the motivation? Was this the first time in your career where you've had, I guess, a training camp, not a fight, then a training camp with the same guy? Is it, is it, was it, it was kind of weird. Uh, at all, honestly, uh, I didn't even know if this fight was going to get rescheduled. They didn't tell me when it was going to be pushed back. And then all of a sudden, when everything started going down, they're like, hey, you got to go. You're going to fight in, uh, in Vegas. So I was like, all right, cool, let's go. And then they're like, yeah, there might not be a card in Vegas. There might be a, the card, card might get canceled. And I was like, oh, OK. Uh, now nah, it might be back on, and it might be a Fox Sports 1 card or a Fox card. Okay, uh, now this back to pay-per-view, so get a full camp in. So they shoot, all right, whatever. Was that really the talks going on that they might? Yeah, that's what really the talks were going on. I was like, all right, y'all tell me whatever it's going to do. I'm going to keep on training, and then if I fight, I fight. If I don't, I don't. Jackson Winkle, John, have had a tough time of late, I guess, with the number of losses. Does this mean a lot for the gym, like, you know, getting back on the winning winning streak? Oh, I'm sorry. Like, you sitting there saying, like, we didn't have that many fighters in the UFC who just keep on going out there. What, like, we might have a lot of losses, but at the same time, not every pro team in the professional sports world has an amazing run all the time. With Broncos, Patriots, everybody, Lakers, everybody else has a little dry spells. We just had one too, and you know what? Well, we got back on the horse and on a winning track. Does that discussion even come up in the gym? I mean, you guys talk about that, like, you know, as you're working out, you're like, we got to get one this weekend, you know? I mean, does that even come up in discussion? No, not really. We're like, oh, hell yeah, you're fighting. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Go for it. If that's the case, like, if, if we dwelled on that, what would the world come into? That means the world's just coming to every troll out there sitting there complaining about how bad we suck and that we should believe in it. If that was the case, I should be fighting at 115 pounds out the way they keep on talking about me. Oh, you're so little. Oh, this, you're that. No, 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 no. I was like, oh, I thought I was phenomenal. <laughs> and just to have some closure um, after what happened in Brazil, were you compensated at all for any of that? I did get compensated a portion of my, con uh, of my, out of my fight purse. Okay. Just, I just wanted more of it. I was being greedy, but at the same time I came out and won, I got both my checks and now I'm ready to go. So it was a portion of your show? A portion of the show, yeah. Nah, it was like... So like 50%? Like, is there... Nah, it wasn't even like 50%. But at the same time, they gave me enough money, so I'd get that. And I did get the re my Reebok money, so that actually helped out too. For the last fight? Yes.
do you know what? Like, how did they come up with the number that they gave you? If it's not fifty percent, is... I have no idea. To tell you the truth, but like, as long as they gave me something, so I went out there and did something because I knew I went out there to make weight. He didn't. He came in overweight, and not only did he come up overweight, he came up heavier than what he showed up on Tuesday. So I thought I was like, oh hell yeah, I was on the green. Oh what's up? Show money what? And they're like, nope. And I was like, okay. What's the point of show money? Whatever. Is that what you were pushing for, show money? I was, but you know, I was hoping to get something other than nothing, and I got something. So I'm did okay you get with it. it. Well, I didn't get my full show money, but I got some. Oh, but did you actually get the money that they like? Has it? Yeah, they actually gave it to me. It was okay. already in my bank account. Uh, right after me and you talked. Okay. To tell you the truth, they, as that aired, the next day I got money. I was like, oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that you think about, like? As you're training, like, man, what if my guy doesn't show up? I mean, because you're, you're out the money out of your pocket to do all this. I honestly, that's, a, that's probably the, every fighter's, like, big, like, big fear. Like, the only way we get paid is to, show, is to show up and fight. We don't get money, like, every day, every week, like how most people do. And they're like, oh, hell yeah, here comes your money, here comes your check. And at the end of the time, at the end of the day, like, we fight, we win, we make our money. It's yeah. not like boxing where we get a guaranteed show, like, a guaranteed win money. Here's your whole fight for us, boom. But that was the case. I'd be fighting Tyson every day or every weekend, psh, losing fifty million dollars. You gonna fight Tyson? Hell yeah! How much? Fifty million? Psh, sign me up. Now that this is all behind you, where do you hope to do next? Go beat up somebody else. Anybody? I'm gonna go. Particular? Anyone? At all? What I'm gonna go do right now is I'm gonna go enjoy Vegas. Got my kids here. We're gonna go celebrate my son's birthday. It was last weekend. I didn't get to go do anything for him then. No, we're gonna go circus, circus. Go ride a couple rides. Go do some crazy stuff and enjoy the time. Did your kids usually come to your fights? Yeah. Or was this not the first time? No, we went to Disney World. Remember? We went to Orlando, knocked up Van Van Buren, and we took, went to spent the whole week out in Disney World. Are they in the arena? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well. Gave them hugs and kisses on the way out, and they're like, "Oh, daddy." They had my shirt on. They're like, "Yeah." And my little daughter was like, "You're number one, daddy number one, daddy number one." <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah." And my son was like, "Daddy, you're sweaty." Ugh. And I was like, "Give me a kiss anyways, boy." <laughs> Will you even explore free agency? Will you, do you want to talk to other organizations or are you only... I, I don't honestly, I don't want to go anywhere else because I love the UFC so much. If they don't, they don't love me as much as, they, as I love them, then I'll go somewhere else and my heart will be broken. But it doesn't mean that this is the last ride for me. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Thank you. You're welcome.